Hello, it's Icy and I'm back with part two of two of my Let's Play The Forgotten Realms mod for uh, Skyrim, uh, the special edition. And there are links below um, where they, you can find out information about the mod and the people who wrote it. Um, you can get Skyrim through Steam or through your console uh, shop, however they, whatever they do, whatever they call. Um, last time I spent a lot of time fucking around remembering how to play the game <laughs> and getting, clearing out my inventory and uh, just marveling at the outside distance. Um, <coughs> this time we have entered the Dwarven Realm. Now, um, the reason I am not playing Skyrim again is because I had something like 600 hours between two characters in Skyrim, which is too much, really. Um, and I am Skyrimed out, pretty much. But this has got great reviews uh, with a better, with a new story, um, and so that sounds good to me. That's close enough. Who are you? I am. Oh, Lisa. it's you. I'm so glad Don't you're you here. Up. Look. I don't know how much time we have left. My brother went down the shaft a few days ago, and I'm worried. I need you to go in after him and bring him back to me alive. It could be dangerous, but if anyone can do it, it's you. Now, are you... All right, some questions. but please hurry. Who are you? My name's Cassia. My brother and I came to Skyrim from Cyrodiil with the Imperial Legion. I can tell from your armor. But we took a break. To oh, explore these ruins. Desertors. Uh huh. We didn't want to get involved in this stupid war in the first place. We only came here because we were conscripted. But sure. our unit was wiped out by Nords and those forsworn savages. The forsworn savages. We saw a chance savages. to get away from the fighting altogether. So we took it. Mm -hmm. Well, we came here hoping okay. to find something valuable to pay for carriage back to Cyrodiil. Altrius okay. went down the shaft, but he asked me to stay here. Why did because you he made down? me promise I'd stay here and wait for him, no matter what. And I keep my <laughs> promises. Except well, that one that you promised. Except as far as the Legion is concerned. Fight for the Legion. Why did you I was in Markarth looking for help. When I heard people talking about you and all the loot you've been trading <laughs> with merchants all over Skyrim, I figured you'd be interested Very in cool. exploring these ruins, so I asked a courier to track you down. And here you... That's so that's, you're ready to go that's now? That's perfectly legitimate. That's perfectly legitimate. I knew I could count on you. Now quickly, go! Okay, here we do. Into the Forgotten City. Oh, we better if be If you are reading first. this, you stand at the entrance to an ancient dwarven city. No doubt you have never heard of it. For in all my travels and all my study, I have never read of it in any text, save for the inscription here. It reads, it's Captain Picard. Those who seek refuge will find peace here, basking in the sun <laughs> under the ground. Those who seek gold will find riches beyond imagining, but will pay for this folly with their lives, for there is no return to the world of man. Oh. Is it possible there is life down there? Is it possible the dwarves are still alive after all this time? As I stand here on this precipice, war raging all over Tamriel, Ooh. my mind is made up. Today, I take a leap of faith. Thunderstorm. Beloved Fourth reader, year. perhaps one, one day you will join me. Consider this an invitation mm. or a warning. Okay, now I don't know the fourth era, 202, so not that long ago, so it's only like 12 years ago. Okay, all right. What do we do? Oh crap, we jump? I hate to. Okay. Um. <gasps> Whoa! Oh! Oh, we're in the water. Oh, let's not drown. Oh, that was awkward. My Kiro, are you coming? My Kiro, my dear. Oh. Why is it a little bit odd? Right, okay. What will I do without you? Oh. Okay. Um, 
do we do the thing? There we go. I'm good at lock picking. Oh, I don't want to pick it. Fine. Oh! Uh oh. Is it, is it meant to go? Oh! Is it meant to do that? The water looks clear when you're under water. Oh! Okay, I think it was just drawing that somehow. Ooh, into the Forgotten City we go! <coughs> oh, we have a burnt corpse. Well, that's never a good sign. So we have some trees, more burnt corpses. Oh, seriously, my curio, I can't adventure without you. Citadel. Okay. What else do we have? Yeah, sure, why not? Oops! <laughs> I really want to do that, but that's okay. Um, one thing I did do was I, I dropped off all of my alchemy equipment. Oh! What the? What did I do there? That was weird. I ate all of my alchemy um, ingredients because they were weighing me down a lot. Ooh, magic door. Okay. Oops. Ah, wrong side. Wrong side of the walkway. Curio's not here. Nope, not open. That was one thing I was looking forward to. Adventuring with my Curio again. Oh! Oh. Centurion. Hmm, interesting. Am I playing this on easy? I'm playing this on easy. Um, I'm not here for the for the fighting as such. Oh. I'm here. Oops, the door. Suicide note. There? Is that it? To whoever reads this, I am so sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, that you will share my fate. Oh. I've spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles, searching for a way out. There are only two choices. Death, or the door to the house on the lake. I made the mistake of opening that door. I thought I could help yeah. them if I found the right one, but whatever I did, it took me right back to that lake house. In the end, all I learned is that some things are worse than death. I urge you to learn from my mistakes. Best to take your own life now and find out what awaits you beyond that door. 
I've locked it and hidden the key. I'll guard it with my eternal soul if I have to. But I fear even that will not be enough. For the lake house calls to you. And when it does, you must not listen. Altrius. But... That would be Altrius. Um... Okay. Optional, retrieve the key. What else am I gonna do? I can't get out. There's like a well. But he's an old man. I was in your shoes once. A lifetime ago. I remember the way the lake house calls to you. Oh, I'm spooky. <laughs> Good voice acting. Oh. I guess I really need a roll of paper, actually. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Wow, they're doing this well. So it's just a different entrance, I'm assuming, to the Citadel. Alright, let's go up here then, in the middle. I can't run and stray. I can't sprint and stray, which is a bit annoying. I thought to myself, do I want to die here alone? Apparently the music is all original too, which is impressive. It seems like a simple choice, and yet, in the end, death was the better option. So we've just got an intermediate balcony. Oh, what else can we see would be a good thing to look. Okay, so we've got a ramp that goes up around to the top. And over behind the lake house that way. A big city. 
Okay, interesting. Alright, so let's go up again. very short mod if I don't. That was, um, interesting. Did you hear somebody saying, wake up? Okay. Um... on the edge. Oh, good enough. I think... I know, we've made it to the top. Oh. Oh, look. There's a house underwater. Interesting. Okay, well, I guess we're going to go through the door.
seven years ago, I discovered this wondrous city uninhabited. Others soon followed, heeding my invitation, and our community grew and prospered under my rule. But as I write this, I am alone once again, for my subjects have been the victims of an unspeakable atrocity. This is why, at the expense of my own life, I must open a portal that will take you into the past, before all this began. Beloved reader, you must go back, investigate what set this atrocity in motion, and back. prevent take it by any means necessary. Okay, that's, um, that's pretty cool. Do I need a chicken's egg? Probably not. Sunken house is still there. Interesting. You're there. Where did you come from? Just came out of the Yarl's private lake house. No, not at all. I got Yeah, lost. well, just make sure you don't get lost in anyone else's home. Live by our laws here, and we'll all get along just fine. Don't what? hurt anyone, don't steal anything. Same as anywhere else. Only the punishment here is much. Much worse. Much worse than being killed by the guard? The Jarl can tell you more, and help you get settled in. He might even have some quarters for you. I can take you to him if you... Follow me. Sure. Show me to the Jarl. This is our farmland where we grow all the food you'll ever want. As long as all you ever want is leek, cabbage, and potato. <laughs> if you have goods, the merchants at the market up ahead will be happy to see you. Most of us have few belongings. Just what we brought in with us. Okay. Above us is the sun under the ground. It's strange and no substitute for the real sun, of course, but these days it doesn't bother me. What bothers me is the citadel folk. Take Jormund, for example, standing up there on his balcony looking down on us. Just look at him. Yeah, Jormund, you're a really big man, aren't you? Except he walks faster than me, which is annoying. Aren't you going to introduce me to your strapping new friend, Galvar? We're on our way to see the yard. It'll be time for you to get your claws into our friend, dear I look forward to it. You should come for a drink at my tavern, the Golden Sentinel, tonight. Just about everyone's there after dark. Be careful with Rastasia. She... Well... It's not my place to say. There's enough... We can talk, but be quick. I'm Safira. I'm from Markarth, from a part called the Warrens. If you've never gone there, said he was there for business. Nobody has any business being in the Warrens. But he had coin. Long story short, I followed him here. The more I think about it, though... I would have been better off in the Warrens with the beggars and skeevers. Guess you haven't met him, huh? Take my advice. Stay as far... If only... Look, whoever dreamt up the Dwarves Law didn't think it through. But what it really does is make everybody too afraid to stand up for themselves 
or challenge people in power. And Domitus knows that. He's next in line as Jarl of this place, so he gets his way by threatening to punish anyone who doesn't do what he wants. He's never physically hit anyone here, but the point is, he doesn't have to. I've seen him make grown men cry. Nords, they don't cry easily. I cry most days. I think about leaving him, but where would I go? He says he'd make sure I wound up living in poverty again, like poor old Dooley. Mm. No, interfering will only make things worse. The only way you can help me is to find a way out of this city, or do something about the dwarves' law. I don't know if there's a way out or not, the but there are places okay. beneath this city nobody has ever explored. If I were you, I'd start with the tunnels. Okay. Well, I suppose that's all I can ask for. Funny, I was gonna ask you the same question. <laughs> all right, but we never had this chat, okay? Okay. Now, interestingly, that's the voice actress who's in Enderal, which is the other really, really big Skyrim mod. Um, she does a number of the small voices in that as well. I recognize it. <sighs> what have you got to say? Nope, nothing. Do you want to take me inside? Let's go in the Citadel. Hmm, interesting. This is the citadel, where the Jarl and his guests live. If you manage to worm your way in with them, you might get to live here too. Ah, oh, interesting. All of the ruins. Gulver, what do you think you're doing? You're meant to be working the Jarl's farm, not trudging dirt into his citadel. Sure, man. Take it easy, would you? I was just showing our new friend here to the Jarl. Well, how about you get back to work, and I take our new friend the rest of the way? If you don't work, none of us eat, Gulver. Remember that. How could I forget? Fine, I'll get back to work. It was nice meeting you, my friend. So stop by for a chat anytime you like. I'm sorry about that. That probably sounded a bit harsh, but it's my job to make sure we all have enough to eat. I'm Jormund. Let's head up to the next floor then, shall we? Stay close behind me. Wouldn't want you getting lost now, would we? Good to see a new face here. Haven't had any new arrivals in a while. Since Parius. But he mostly keeps to himself. A bit secretive, actually. Most people are pretty friendly, though. And so they should be. This is the closest you'll get to Sovereign Guard in all of Tamriel. No crime, no conflict. Most folk don't even bother locking the doors. Even if you could steal someone without breaking the dwarves' You wouldn't law, want to keep the Yarl waiting, way too, would you? I'm sorry, what's my story? What an oblivion is your story? How dare you come in here like you own the place and expect me to explain myself to you? I just asked a question. I don't care who you are, but pay attention. There's a pecking order around here and I'm at the top of it. So work hard and do what I tell you or you'll wish you died and gone to oblivion. Got it? Nonsense. Not even a peasant like you would be stupid enough to do that. Everybody knows it would break the dwarf's law and get us all killed. As an Australian so I'll speak to you <laughs> and the other peasants as I see fit, and there's nothing you can do about it. You got it? Now get out of my sight. I'm the accent sick of you. Little bit wavery from Washer Wars, and then it's coming back to the Australian. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> Hello there, dear. Oh my, it's very nice of you to take an interest in my life, dear. Really? Well, you're the first person. Cleanliness is next to godliness, or so they say. But it's not God? very inspiring, as you can imagine. But the alternative is to... Oh, you haven't met him yet. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll... I he feel sorry for him. I think most of us do. But ever since his brother died, mm. he's... The Jarl decided because he can't work, he doesn't deserve to live in a house like the rest of us. So he lives in a tent in a cave of sort. But don't let him drag you into it. I'm quite sure it's imaginary. A great loss can do terrible. 
Well, anyway, that's about all there is about me curio. to tell, I'm afraid. I'm very sad. I'm not very interesting. Well, the most important thing in my life is prayer. So let me ask you, have you found room in your heart for Mara, the mother goddess? <laughs> the, the two options are, I could care less, or I've got to go and do something Excuse Yes, me. of course, dear. Don't worry, I get that reaction a lot. Interestingly, Perhaps there's no option later. to say yes. I would love to hear more about it. Who else can we talk to? Who are you? Gaia. No, I can't talk to Gaia. Oh, welcome. I'm Gaia. You come and say hello when you're here. Always oh, got her nose buried in a book, that one. Elves out brawl down in the city. Our resident expert about the history and laws of the Dwemer. Last I heard, they were trying to track down some dwarven artifacts. Should ask Bro about it, if you're into that sort of thing. This is the Citadel kitchen. Remember to be polite to our cook Sanchi. She knows the best with what she has, which isn't much. Okay. Oh. You really should go and see the... What? You think if you butter me up, I'll start making food for you too? <laughs> Forget it. My kitchen's for Citadel residents only. Well, fine. My story. I'm the Citadel cook in this life. Not exactly how I thought my life would end up. Did you like that? Seems like a long time ago. Seems like a long time ago. I had a vic. I was bored. <laughs> A lot. Oh. Started looking for something to do. A friend introduced me to Skooma. It was fun. For a while. But you know how it goes. I was a living cliche. Lost my husband, my home, my easy life. Then I found myself uh, doing things I'm not proud of. That's when I realized if I couldn't keep myself away from the skooma, I'd have to keep it away from me. So when I found the entrance to this place, I knew what I had. Haven't touched the stuff since. Still get the cravings. <sighs> Sometimes I'd kill for one last bottle. But no Ooh, point in thinking about it down here. Skooma. Right. That doesn't sound right. I got myself trapped in here for a good reason. No way I'm going back up. All right. See you later. Interesting. I did see a bottle of skin actually when I was exploring the future, shall we say. But All right. So we're about to meet Yal Metellus. There's a couple of things you should know about him. If you want to make a good impression. Sure. First, he was the first one here. Well, he was here before the rest of us anyway. So the Citadel is his. And where are all his guests? Second, he's very protective of this place. And won't tolerate anyone disturbing the peace. Okay. So be on your best behaviour, and you should be fine. Sure thing.
he really is. He's always telling everyone what to do. I don't know how everyone puts up with him. Did you know he calls this place his citadel? And he and his friends don't do any work. Everything gets done by the people down in the city. He'll probably try to make you work for him too. Hmm. Interesting. But don't just do whatever he says. People around here should really learn to stand up to him. You know my father would be upset to hear you ask that. I love it. Me, I'm not even allowed out of the citadel. I'm so bored. Father doesn't want me mixing with common folk. He's all, why don't you read one of the books Gaia brought you? Books. <laughs> I'm almost 18. I want to have fun, like... Like normal girls mm, my age. Oh, kid. Or do I thought about getting one of those awful Nord tattoos. Father would hate that. <laughs> but then that bitch Sanji told me about her schooner habit. Mm. I don't want to drink it. Oh. oh, but if I get some, I just know I could get that junkie to spill her uh, guts about okay, everyone in so this place. If you need to get a secret. How about this? Find me some skooma, or I'll tell my father you were spying on me while I was in the bar. Cow! Oh, I thought I was bored before. I think I just reached a new level of boredom. Get out of here, and don't come back without skooma. Interesting. Okay. I'm a young woman who's admittedly kind of a bit trapped. I keep waiting for all these to come alive and start attacking me. All right, you're on your own. They are always waiting for you on his balcony, on your left. And I'll see you around. What? What's your story? Did you say something to me? Yes. No use talking to me, young one. Can't hear a word you're saying. Used okay. to be a vigilant of Stender till I slipped up. You make sure you put some distance between you <laughs> for you kill it. Otherwise, absolutely. Whoosh, eyes, ears, and hair gone, all at the same time. He's quite right too. They explode. Didn't catch a word, and I'll be honest, being still can't hear ya. <laughs> He's awesome. Uh, also, the guy who escorted us up the, the stairs was waiting for you on his balcony um, on your left. Was um. Oh, excuse me. Also, uh, one of the voice actors from um, Enderal. Oh, here we go. Twin secrets. Um, secret, secret, secrets, enchanter. Oh no, this is just one of the standard books. Okay, that's fine. Oh, look, it's one of those jars with the bug in it. I never did find all those. Um, sorry, coughing. Interesting, so this is all the people, so, who have arrived. Um, and then notes. So we have a Narabus, Nar, Narabus, who is a possible necromancer who's disappeared. Guy is inquisitive, but possibly a problem. Imperial military engineer, keep busy, interesting. Hmm, Harmond, Nord but obedient. <laughs> ah. Harable, deceased. Courier Herald, notes, found key. Hmm, Dooley. Ah, uh, multiple plates for help with missing fortune. Hmm, interesting. Rastia. She's a f tavern manager. Oh, she's a forsworn, maybe? No. No potential. Very, very racist, basically. <clears throat> hmm. 
Shani from Skimmer Addict, giveaway from Duramora, no potential. Judging people without actually doing, like not giving them a chance. Interesting. Uh, Domitus, anger issues. Uh, Sephira, potential unknown. Hmm, interesting. <clears throat> Sato, completely deaf, perfect. <laughs> Vernon, manage city food store, likeable. Luki, healer, competent, no potential. I think this is very interesting. Oleron, a pushover, unproductive since loss of wife. Citadel cleaner, notes potential. Massey, missing. Potential of what? Potential of being a good person? <clears throat> Jessel, city cleaner, avoid. <laughs> Is this potential for something else? Not just like the potential of how they are in the city, because it says good worker, but no potential. I wonder. Something else? <clears throat> Clothing store? Miranda the dissenter? Street sweeper? Trustworthy, delegant. Uh, Rykas, city guard, self appointed, aggressive, knows he's being watched, believe statues make him alive, paranoid. No, I call that sensible. <laughs> um, okay, Brandis. Hmm, upset other people with claims about an ancient evil into the city. Leandrus, Vigilant Estenda, start searching the underground tunnels, and ask Tormund to bar the doors. Interesting. Marius, no job? If he has no job, why does he have rooms in the Citadel? Seen wandering the city at night. Interesting. Hmm, Isa White Ranch. <laughs> That's me! Assigned a role. Trespassed in my lake house! Hmm, interesting. I think we're gonna steal this. Oh, what the fuck? What the? <gasps> Shit! So, okay, can we, so we can't get down from here, can we? So, um, anyway, in summary, this is not ESO where you can conveniently... <gasps> Look! Shit, what have I done?
the Dwarven Laws. You can't do anything. It did say I should swim back here, didn't it? I'm, pr I'm sure that's what it said. It said I should go back to the lake house. Ugh. Talk to the owl. Okay, yes, yeah, I read your letter. I read it already. But from before. So... My letter. Oh, do My I... Letter. I'll make... Okay, do I take it? Got the letter. <gasps> okay, I think that that's a really interesting place to stop. Wow. Okay. That's, I think my mind is just ever so slightly blown then. Um, okay, that's, I'm, wow. So that kind of, oh my God, I can't even talk about it. It's like, I kind of think I have to stop and think for a bit first. Um, so yeah, so when 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 the people are saying they're trapped, they really are trapped. They can't do anything. They can't go against authority in any way. You would have to break the Dwarven law. Like you can't break the laws. You'd have to change, reset them, change them, something. Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, anyway, yeah, really good spot to leave it there. Um, please do come back in two days or so to check out the next episode. Um, wow. Okay, I'm kind of freaked out. Uh, anyway, this is the Forgotten City, the mod for Skyrim, which works perfectly well in the extended edition and looks gorgeous. Um, if you own Skyrim, I would suggest that you get this because it is free and quite extraordinary so far. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, please do leave comments below, especially if you've played this before, and let me know what you think. Um, give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and please do subscribe. Click that little button over there. That'd be wonderful. Um, so, thanks for watching, and um, I hope to talk to you next time. Bye.